Good morning everyone. In this video we're going to be sharpening some mower blades. Let's get started. Okay, this is what we got today. These are the Multrum blades. These are the Ballard brand. Um, they're okay blades. I don't know. I wasn't like super impressed with them or anything. They just operated like a mower blade, I guess. These blades are in really bad shape. I typically don't let my blades get like that, but these are mainly just being used for leaves, so I wasn't too concerned about how sharp they were. So, alright, let's see if we can get these back in shape. Okay, we've got this much better shape. Still some rough spots, a couple nicks. May work a little bit more on this edge, but uh, it's definitely a much better edge than was on it. All right, let's get the other side. Okay, this one, or this side, wasn't quite as bad as the other side. Then I got, maybe, there we go. Didn't have near as many nicks in it. Much better. Um, okay, that one, well, these other, this, still got a few more nicks. I don't know if I'm going to try to grind those out or not. I've already done a lot on that side. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of balancing. Okay, so here's my fancy balancer. <laughs> Let me show you. This workbench isn't completely level, so I got this piece of glass. You got a chip of wood under it. And yeah, so there we go. Got it nice and level. So we can just stick our balancer there. Let's take this out. to the side you take a little bit more off this side yeah it's hoping that'll be the side that <laughs> really need to take more off this side I don't know we'll see oh and this jig here that I'm using this is all American sharpener it's the 5005 model Scott here let me see if I can get this you can do all different angles from 15 to 45. I'm doing it on like 30. Okay, so let's take a little bit more off this side.
we're getting finished up here and uh, one more thing I wanted to say was the, the reason why it's so important to balance the blades is because if you don't they're not completely balanced then they're gonna be vibrating and it's gonna shorten your spindle life and then just vibrate the whole mower and it's making sure that their balance is important also one more thing is you don't want like a razor edge on your blades because then if you hit anything like a stick or something or even a rock, which <laughs> hopefully you're not hitting rocks with your blades, it's going to really leave a, a gouge in it. But if you kind of have a flatter surface here, it will we'll help your blades not get torn up as quick. So what I typically do, which because the shape these were in, I had to really grind them down. A lot so I typically wouldn't grind them down to such a fine edge but when you do have to do that you can just take your grinder and then just run it along the edge just like one pass like this All right, to the rest of them. This one's not bad. Yeah, that one's fine. And I'll say so is this one. <laughs> okay, so only one of them really needed any grinding done on the edge of it. So I guess that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Um, if you're so inclined, you can hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a, leave a comment down below if you'd like. All right, see you next time.